following program is sponsored by CBN. Well, welcome to the 700 Club. Accusations, death threats, and opposition. Well, that's what met a bishop and his wife from the Church of God in Christ who were sent to Israel. Their goal to build a bridge between African Americans and the Jewish state. So what went wrong? Chris Mitchell reports from Jerusalem. The Church of God in Christ sent the Plemers off to Israel with prayer and the laying on of hands at their annual convention in front of thousands at the St. Louis Convention Center in late 2019. Then they set their sights for Israel. CBN News sat down with the Plemers here. We came to build a bridge not just for Kojic, but for also black America. Uh, I have found, we have found that it's vitally important that African Americans have a relationship with Israel. And so building a bridge is what our primary purpose and call is. I, I think that it's important, it's, it's, it's vital that they understand Israel, the, 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 the uh, culture, the, the country, the people, the land um, of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. It's important for them to understand that. And I definitely, I lend my voice to do that, and I'm committed to doing that. Mm. Bishop Plummer once led the National Religious Broadcasters Organization, and the Israel Allies Foundation recently recognized Plummer as one of Israel's top 50 Christian allies. But soon after the Plummers arrived in Israel, they became the brunt of a number of accusations, misleading headlines, and doctored videos. And they twisted it to say they're coming here to convert Jews, they're coming here to baptize Jews, they're coming here to proselytize Jews. There's a word that they use called missionize. I hadn't quite heard that word before, but uh, the, 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 there's been these accusations. It was hurtful. Um, and as I say to my husband, it's because I know that he has been an advocate, um, very involved in Jewish black relationships um, and, and, and making sure that that cohesiveness is there. And these are a number of somewhat well-known rabbis uh, in the Orthodox community that, have, uh, that are calling for our ouster. They're, they're, they're wanting us to leave the country. Uh, they're, 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 they've created videos and they've distributed to the uh, department heads of the ministries in Israel to say that these people mean us terrible. And they say these people, it's, they're talking about the Church of God in Christ. They're talking about, you know, uh, the plumbers. Uh, and uh, they, need to be, they need to be gone. But it got worse. And to be clear, we've been, th we've been threatened mm -hmm. with death. Yes. So we've received written death threats mm -hmm. saying we will kill you. Yes. We've received threats saying if we find you and catch you out in public, we'll do this, that, and the other. Yes. So this is not just some fantasy that we're on here. Yet some Israelis reached out to the plumbers, like Jonathan Feldstein of the Genesis 123 Foundation, who fosters Jewish Christian relations and invited Plummer to speak on a Facebook Live. It was an amazing hour and a half conversation that was wide ranging, and I really wanted to take it in a direction that we would be redeeming. He's been subject to so much criticism and really hasn't had a great opportunity to uh, present why he's here, the positives of it. And I understand a great deal of, of the significance of his being here, but I wanted to hear it from him. They've been the subject of a great deal of hostility. Some of it with, uh, I, I believe, um, misunderstanding and some of it probably with some ill intention. Despite the accusations, death threats, and opposition, the plumbers plan to stay, fulfill their calling, and believe love will prevail. So uh, we're here. There's nothing anyone can do to stop us from loving Israel and loving the people of Israel. We love this place. CBN News contacted the Israeli government for a statement about the situation, but did not receive one before the time of broadcast. The plumbers have also been in touch with the police. Given the nature of the threats and intimidation, Plummer expects the government to speak up. And I think that the, 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 the government of Israel has to make a statement. Silence is not acceptable. Christians should have the freedom to express their worship. And because we're black Americans and because we represent a very significant organization, 
I have decided as the Bishop of Israel that I'm going to address it. I'm going to address it at the highest level I can uh, because Christians need to be free to express themselves without harassment, without bigotry, without prejudice. And they want the freedom to make their contribution to the state of Israel. We happen to represent a significant number of people in the United States that we feel are at a place in history that needs to engage Israel on a very high and deep level. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Well, this is an unfortunate fact of life in Israel today. There, there seems to be some kind of um, backlash against e evangelicals. Uh, I remember being at an E21 conference in, in Jerusalem, and there were actually people appointed wondering, you know, we, we need to watch the conference and see if anybody leaves the conference in order, you know, to, to make sure they don't go evangelize Jews. I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a horrific thing. And, and this is something that, in particular, the Orthodox community in Jerusalem should get a handle on. Here is someone, Bishop Plummer is a former chairman of the National Religious Broadcasters, the NRB. He's been uh, an incredible figure in Christian television. For him to leave all of that, to say, I want to go to Jerusalem, I want to move my family, I want to live in Israel so I can create a bridge between the African American community and Israel. What an incredible thing for him to do. What an incredible sacrifice for him. And to then get death threats and, and misrepresentations and videos twisted to mean something completely different. Uh, this, no, this should never be. Um, realize that within the Tanakh, within the Bible, within the prophets, you have expressed prophecies that there will come a day when Gentiles come to Zion uh, they reach out with their hands and say, please teach us the Torah. Please accept that. When, when Christians are coming, they're coming to the birthplace of Christianity. I like to remind both Christians and Jews, Christianity is a Jewish religion. The New Testament is entirely written by Jewish people. Uh, this is something that was birthed in Israel. And for Christians to want to go back there, and go live there is completely natural. Now, we did reach out to the um, government of Israel, and they have responded. Here, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs says, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs condemns any kind of hate speech and death threats. And if these messages were sent to the bishop and his wife, we regret it very much. I think we need to give proof back to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They actually were done. If that were done in America, that's a very tangible threat. That's a felony crime to deliver to someone a death threat. Uh, so there needs to be follow-up on this. Uh, but this is something that is, is absolutely crucial. Uh, you, you look at this, the Israeli government should absolutely get involved to make sure the plumbers are safe.